speaking to the Jewish community. We are imploring them and, and, and arguing with them to understand that being Jewish is one thing, but being uh, Israeli and criticizing the government of Israel is quite separate. And to confuse those deliberately is really uh, an awful thing to do, where one ought to be able to criticize a state that is, is guilty of various uh, crimes against humanity and violations of international law and, and human rights. We ought to be free to criticize that, and it ought not to be uh, uh, denounced as, as anti-Semitism. And that conflation is, is a pernicious and really disgraceful thing that we should all stand up against, even if you don't agree with what people like me and, and other supporters of, of BDS want to say. In fact, it's attacking or, or, or directed against a lot of non-Jewish businesses. There are a lot of companies that are profiting from the illegal uh, occupation, stealing of Palestinian land and resources. They're not Jewish. And so that proves that this is not directed against Jews. It's directed against uh, people who are violating the rights of the Palestinians. And it's very explicit in the statements of BDS around the world that it's against all forms of, of, uh, of uh, racism, including uh, anti-Semitism. Now, this is a deliberate conflation. The Jewish communities, they, they as I've said in, in the talk I gave, they compare it to the German uh, campaign against Jews, which is an obscenity, because uh, that was a form of uh, gross, uh, grotesque uh, uh, racism. Whereas this is being run by people who are supporting human rights and supporting international law. And this is uh, really uh, an awful slur and, and, uh, and a defamation of people like that.